harvest of souls. This empowered seed is so powerful. It's called the gospel. Romans 1 verse 16 says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God unto salvation. To everyone who has faith, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. And at the day of Pentecost, when Peter released the empowered seed, the gospel, at the day of Pentecost, at the infancy of the church, verse 40 and 41 of Acts chapter 2, you see what actually happened. Acts 2 verse 40 and verse 41. It talks about Peter and the harvest that came. So many people turned to the Lord. With many other words, he warned them and he pleaded with them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted this message were baptized and about 3,000 were added to their number that day. This empowered seed it is for our children. Share the gospel with your children. I know we can share many other things with them to tell them, avoid this, go this way, don't do that, do the other. Share the gospel with your children. Don't be ashamed of the gospel. Tell them that Jesus is the hope of this world. Tell them that Jesus died. He was buried. He rose on the third day. Tell them that they can respond to that gospel. And if they do, Jesus comes into their hearts and they become new creations. People need to hear this empowered word. The, the harvest of saved souls turning to the Lord is awaiting your proclamation of the sin. And, uh, and so the end vision, Revelation 7 verse 9, is that before the Lamb, there will be many, many people from every tribe. After this I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count. From every nation, every tribe, every people, and language standing before the throne and before the Lamb. They were wearing white robes, and they were holding palm branches in their hands. This is the end vision. At the end of time, this is going to happen. And therefore that encourages me as a preacher today to know that this, this empowered v, uh, seed works amongst all people groups in Asia. It will work in Africa, Europe, Australia, South America, all over Africa. This empowered seed, the gospel actually works. And there is the harvest of souls. That is people uh, who come because of this empowered seed. And uh, it is for all nations. So at the end of time... There will be people from everywhere, every color. Can you imagine that, uh, like today, if we all came with the flags of our countries, and as I'm preaching at this particular point, I ask, lift your flag, begin to wave it. That would be amaz an amazing picture. And I look around and I start seeing flags of every country, every other nation gathered in this place. That is something God is expecting. But you see, God did his bit. He did it through his son, Jesus Christ. He gave the foundation and he gave us the message. Now he gave the commission to the church. And he said, go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I've commanded you, and Lord, I'll be with you to the end of the age. And so the job is on our hands.